what started once is Donnie's dream of having a cabin in the North Main Woods is starting to become a reality. At 81 years old, Donnie, Stevie, and I are going to build a cabin in the wilderness of the North Main Woods. We've been milling the lumber for the building all summer, and then we went up and cleared the lot with some help from some really good friends. We set up a really nice base for the camp with gravel and shale and slate. We hauled all of our lumber up in one trip that was pretty eventful. And since then, we've been building step by step and showing you guys all the steps along the way. We really appreciate all the support on the build. There's going to be some guys coming and going on the building project, but for the most part, it's going to be 81-year-old Donnie and I. Stay tuned, guys, and we'll show you step-by-step step how we're building this wilderness log cabin. Today is sheathing day. We're going to sheathe our cabin with one inch thick boards that we milled back in the summer on Donnie's woodlot. Donnie has a pretty substantial woodlot that he's been managing his entire life for projects like this and, and to be able to harvest and utilize the trees. Boards we're using are anywhere from 6 inches to 16 inches wide. They're all one inch thick when we mill them. They can shrink down to about seven eighths. Come in various lengths, depending on how long the trees or the logs were that we cut. I like sheathing with pine boards a lot more than I do plywood. Feels like a lot stronger structure the way you intertwine them and weave them in. A lot of nails in them as well. I gotta believe a one inch Thick pine board has a little bit of R value as well, so it just makes the structure really rugged and it kind of fits with what we've been doing this whole project. Don't miss Stevie. I know, that's why I, that's why I go slow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Here, Just follow your ups. Follow your... Is there two right here? Yeah, there's a double there. You don't have to hit them both on a double. Don't need a measurement. He can take that. He can probably go all the way up with it, Donnie. My gun, go ahead. It's heavier, but it's quicker. It's your call. Okay. Stevie, I'll leave these here for you. Fine for us, really. Thank you. 
Just don't go over your window. Yeah. The window on the door. No, I mean over the top there. See how you kept it perfect. You stopped it before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why Donnie didn't give me any more boards. Yeah, because it would. It'd be a tougher. Three still. On yep. can do it from the side, reaching out the window or something. No tie fires on the list, Donnie, for this or drill or whatever the hell we're going to use. Yeah, we're going to buy I never had a problem with tie fires. You said it was a waterproof product out there, right? Yeah. I don't know anything about it. I kind of feel like saving these wider ones for the roof, but... They're short. Yeah, they're short. Yeah. I guess. Gonna use them all, right? Yeah. To the bottom of the window there. What do you got left for a board? Like from here to here? Yeah, exactly. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter, thank you. Yeah. There's some sixes there. If, do we? Okay. We get a great surprise visit from Stevie's brother Mike and Mike's kids. They're up in the North Main Woods to do some trout fishing and some target practice with their new firearms.
Got your brand new guns? Yep. We have a 410 and then what's this one, babe? 410 and a... 243. 240. Whoa, those are nice looking. Yeah. This is the last 410. And it's awesome. Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is, that's a... That doesn't weigh anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, that is nice. Yeah. No. We're going to get what another one. What caliber is that one? 243. Oh, 243. That's a look nice at that. caliber. You must be pretty excited. I'm excited. I remember my first shotgun ever, my dad. Bought me a 12 gauge. Yeah. Yeah. 12 yeah. gauge, your first one. Yeah, he said, Don't tell your mother. <laughs> and I never did. I think I had a 22 before the 12 gauge, but the 12 gauge was a JC Higgins bolt action. Oh, wow. Bolt before action Sears. Sears Robux sold yeah. them. Sears. Huh. What was your guys' the first guns? Was it the mountain rifles? We got 20 gauge. Oh yeah. Like firearm single shots for Christmas. Probably when Mike was, what, however old you had to be to hunt. Was it 10 when we were growing up? Had to be 10? Yeah. Yeah, 10. probably. I had a 22 when I was, what, 7? <laughs> <laughs> well, you shot your first deer at 9. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Is it not fitting, girls? Yeah, I always had, my dad always let me use his guns. You know, and there were guns we were allowed to use and stuff, but the first one that was mine. Like I was in eighth grade, he got my 12 gauge. That's that 1100. You got your 1100? That was your first wow. gun. Wow, that's oh, a good yeah. gun for the first one. Yep. You got some use out of that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. I can't even tell you how many grouse have fallen to that thing. Because you used that when you were coming up here. Yep. For the, All through college. Seasons. Yep. High school, wow. college, everything. Thousands of rounds. Did I have the vented rib? When you got it, or did you put yeah. that on? Did. Yeah, because his first gun was a 20 gauge 1100. Really? Yeah, and I grew up shooting that. Was that the one that I used before? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> we were really fortunate that Mike and his kids wanted to help out. Earlier in the summer, we brought up a big load of pine boards for the sheathing. And they're all mixed in. And they're pretty far from the job site as far as just cutting and throwing them up. So the kids and Mike were super helpful in not only bringing the boards over, but separating them into piles according to their width. It's important to have them in the same width when you're running a line across the building horizontally. You don't want to put like a six inch board with an eight inch board because you'd have a two inch variance. So big thanks to them for all the help they gave us. It was huge. That's true. That's true, Donnie. Bless you.
up on the draft up around here. Tacker? Yeah. Jesus. Well, carry those fat in here, right? That yeah, way. I got these. These. This is all we need to get to the to the bottom oh, of that well. header. So I can use anything over here. Yeah. I got. I started around the corner, but I'm gonna go to the far wall. battery you somewhere? Yep. Right here, take this 5 amp, it'll be lighter. <coughs> okay. You got a staging area for our batteries that need charging? Yeah, I lost track. Try that 5 amp there. Neighbor left the set note. Uh, yeah. yeah, he came down to the ice cream shop. Uh -huh. I think he saw a three bear or something. Kids, want to run a nail gun? Yeah!
well. Yeah. I like your resentment. You start it. Good? Yep. Well, the house is going to breathe though. That's good. Let the moisture out. That's what hurry does. If only certain people can hurry and still be efficient. Taka. Go! <laughs> 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 oh boy, Steve. Don't dare the fish. We do not need anything holding up for insulation. I know, that's, that's why I'm taking so long. <laughs> I want to put one in that end. I'll get you two ladders. Good on your own?
after a while, doesn't it, Steve? So I'm only loading one sleeve at a time. <laughs> you want that other gun? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm, this is fine. You're gonna be pretty close, Donna. Huh? You're gonna be pretty close. A lot. To hitting that window. Oh, yeah. That's a lot chill. 2 8, 16. I got 2 8. So yeah. That looks about right. Yep, yeah, pretty close. Donnie, what kind of drink you want? Oh, just, I'll just have water. Stevie, I'll, I'll grab a beer. No, no. Put it in here. That keeps me hydrated pretty. No, they're actually up in the back. That dehydrates you, doesn't it? No, that's just a myth, Donnie. It is? <laughs> Gordon's going good. Yeah. And then we're going to put the deck on. Yeah. And then, and then that's as far as we can get. Uh, I can cut rafters. Oh, you can? Yeah. Hard to tell how much boarding we're going to have left. I know what there, there's a stack over there. They're are you just going to move your saw horses around? Yeah. As soon as we're done this way? Yeah, I got a bunch still there, boards. I got your short stuff cut over there. And I started on the gable end. Where? On this long end, long side? I got your short one cut for the window. Oh, okay. And then I started on that gable end. They're 101 inches. This whole stack right there is 101 inches. They're both about 101 inches. His hams are going to be as big as his calves tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to lift my beer up. <laughs> You're going to have to. Can't feed me the beer tonight, Donnie. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh, what do you guys think? Huh? I said, Ray never run a nail gun before? Girls, you ever yeah. run a nail gun? Yeah. Actually, I might have. I don't know. Yeah, we got sawzalls, too. too. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty dangerous. <laughs> you guys check out the tent? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Sweet, huh? Uncle Steve gets a fire going in there in the morning and it's nice and toasty. Thanks guys. Yeah, thanks for lifting all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Before we go, we gotta head back. Yeah. You gotta get some fishing in instead of all this working. You gotta get some fishing and get some supper. These kids didn't sign up for work, they signed no. up for fishing. They signed up, signed up for a nice peaceful weekend. <laughs> Gun shooting and fishing. Yeah. yeah, the heck with this working stuff. <laughs> Dad, you, you got a whole life us. ahead of you to work. 
Boy, here come it. Boy, he is thirsty. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long trip up the hill. You'd be efficient. Looks pretty good from up the hill, doesn't it, Stevie? Oh my god, it's crazy. Uh, looks great. Would you pour you those in place? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nope, uh, we wheeled them in. Yeah. So, we what them are off those? Pretty, yeah. pretty fun. What are those spiders? That one over here? Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. There was made. another one over there, and that's Big one? Wow. Uh, littler. It oh. looks like a baby tarantula. Black widows are in Maine now. No, that wasn't a black widow. I've seen those. Um, but that one over there had an egg sac. Oh, really? This was probably like an eastern woodland spider, I bet, if you looked it up. Yeah. It'd be pretty close. Because that sucker was like... Yeah, I yeah. saw it. I flipped him over on his back and he said... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's as big as I've ever seen, not on a dock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, dock spiders. Yeah. <laughs> they get ignorant. Can't even shoot those with a pellet gun. Yeah. Dash, like, <laughs> see, they'd be up in the shed or something. You just. Oh, it already looks way different than it did when we got here. Yeah. 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 Three days ago, there was just a pile of dirt here. <laughs> yeah, it was a mess. It was a big Still is a mud mess. pile. <laughs> now we got a Ford at least. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping over. Yeah, Stand thanks for the help, yeah. guys. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah, thanks for the help. Absolutely. Boy, I'll have to make another batch of donuts sometime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, they certainly love them. <laughs> Those donuts are delicious. The last batch he made was the best I've ever had. Really? Yeah, he made them right down there. Yeah, yeah. They were so good. I put a little maple syrup in them, this, that batch. Oh. I just got a bunch to get. I was cutting a little short stuff, you were cutting a long stuff. Oh, where's your We're going up on the ridge. Yeah, we're going up to Hart. There's there's a couple yeah. there's a couple of flats opening up again. West Enfield and uh because I used to be there.
that in there? Or? No, it'll come out. We'll spray foam it. Take it right out. Just inside a little bit. Can we go that way? Yeah. yeah.
three quarters of an inch short from the rest of the board. Really? Yeah. Maybe an inch actually. Inch short? Yeah. Is that it's probably fine, right? I measured. Um yeah, go to you though. Flush it to you. Braden shoot the nail gun? No? Oh, I can't quite tell where that friggin' jam is. I get you. Yeah. So 14.
Hopefully it doesn't matter. I got this side. Are you good? Yeah, that's good there. You good there? Yeah. Give it to her. What a day, huh? What a day. I don't even know where we started. We put up two walls, two end walls, and an inside wall. Yep. Then we yeah, we did three walls. Mm -hmm. Then we squared up everything. Yep. <coughs> yep. Then we boarded three walls. Yep. I got a little start on the port. Yep. There's some serious boards moved thanks to the Osborne family. Yeah. They had to work in that mud up back. Oh. They all had boots on though. They were, they were prepared. So tomorrow, Donnie, we'll start with boarding. Yeah. Then we cut and porch joists. Yeah. Can we lay those? Are we laying them or no? Yeah. for the rafters and, and I'll probably we'll go for a ride look for spruce poles and uh, yeah. cedar pole or you could use spruce on the deck you know with poles too if you couldn't find any good cedar <laughs> what, would you, what would you think it would take to cut the the raft is about two, three hours. Oh, yeah, take a half a day. I'm very particular on my raft to cut it. It's no slam bam, thank you, man. <laughs> Why well, didn't you bad cut you yeah. have? Oh, yeah, I've had a few. Guys yep. did good. What's that? You guys did a good job. I was shocked when I drove in here. Were you? We weren't sure how you were going to take it. Yeah. We thought you'd say, Jesus, what have you been doing? Well, you been well I did, but I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> For a guy who doesn't build much TV, you're pretty freaking good around the job site. <laughs> just, just slow. Slow, God, you were pounding that machine all day long. Well, you are slower than shit framing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's come out right. <laughs> I just don't want to mess it up and have to do it over and take more time, so I just... You know the story about the hat of the, <laughs> the tortoise and the hare? Yeah. Yep, they do. Knock on wood, we haven't had to tear too much apart, have we? Cat's paw a few times. Just one time, wasn't it? Get nailed on the wrong side of the mark or something? Oh. No, it was a head that wouldn't come together. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah cat's paw yesterday. And then the one spot where the bedroom wall, the top, had a quarter inch gap. 
we pounded the nails back out and then pounded them back in. Yeah. That was it? Yep. I've seen a lot worse, believe me. It helps when the guy, the layout guy gets it right every friggin' time. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Wait till we go put the windows in and they don't fit. <laughs> Been there before. Not a great camp. <laughs> you hear about that? Oh my. I don't think I heard that one. <laughs> oh my, oh God. my friggin' word. This is Greg, awful. Greg bought a bunch of windows. Uh, so, ham and sale. Yeah, and a ham and sale. And yeah. The he, says they're, yeah. he says Random. they're all the same. <laughs> yeah. So I go measure one for the rough opening. 24-36. We make all the window rough openings the same. We go to put the windows in. Some of them don't fit. One of them fit. <laughs> and the one that, we the have one that to, you measured. Yep, that fit. was the one I measured. <laughs> oh my god. Tear out all the framing. Ah. You know, like. Wow. I don't think there were two windows the same. <laughs> <laughs> no. 